Alrighty. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Kristen. This is my booktube. And for today's video, we are going to be throwing it back to a few months ago. I was on a bit of an art kick. I was painting a lot. It was a good way for me to listen to audiobooks in my free time and also do a bit of relaxing artwork too. And this week I thought that we could get back into that a little bit and do some painting for a Mother's Day present for my mom. So in this week's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of arts and crafts with some books sprinkled in because this is first and foremost a booktube channel. But for this week, I have, you can probably see it in the background, this white thing right here. It is a gnome shaped flower pot that I found at Michael's for like $7. And it's like a DIY planter kit. And you can paint the little gnome and then you have a little ceramic pot that you can plant in as well. There are two things that you should know about my mother before we get started with this video. One, she loves gnomes. Two, she loves flowers. Put those two things together and I think she's really gonna like that little gnome planter. So yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on in this week's video. I was going to be doing this anyway because Mother's Day is coming up. By the time you're seeing this, Mother's Day will probably already be upon us. But as I'm sitting here right now, Mother's Day is this coming weekend. And I do have some other stuff already that I want to give my mom. But I saw this little gnome in Michael's and it made me think of my mom. So I decided to buy it and go ahead and paint it for her for Mother's Day. As far as what book I'm going to listen to while I do this. I did just finish Part of Your World by Abby Jimenez for my work book club. I actually finished it ahead of time for once. Our book club meeting is not even until Wednesday. Today is Monday and I have already finished it. And I would take credit for not procrastinating, but the reason why I finished it yesterday was because it was due back to my library yesterday evening. So I really didn't have a choice on how long I took to finish it, but we're going to count it as a win anyway, because even so, I finished the book ahead of time for once. So we are prepared and ready for that to happen on Wednesday. So I'm thinking that I may start yours truly if I can find the audiobook. That's gonna be the caveat for that one. If I'm gonna read while I paint, I need an audiobook to be able to do that. So if I can't find yours truly to listen to, I may go the Agatha Christie route or maybe I'll find another thriller to listen to. But in any case, we're gonna be listening to some audiobooks while we do this painting. The pot itself did come with little pots of paint, but I also have a lot of my own paint. So I'm gonna be pulling out some of my acrylic paint, going through that and picking out some colors to begin with. And then once I have all the colors picked out that I wanna use, we will jump right into the main art segment of this video. That is enough rambling. Let's just go ahead and get into it because my arm is getting tired and really shaky. And you can probably tell that just from watching this video. This is how he's looking so far. Today is the next day, so he's completely dry. So yeah, I went with like a red and blue kind of theme just because my mom has a lot of like seasonal gnomes and she doesn't really have any 4th of July ones. So I thought maybe it would be cute to make him kind of 4th of July themed, but not like explicitly. And I think I'm going to touch up some of these edges. Like I wanna clean up some of these lines where there's paint overlapping or the paint is a bit thinner. And then I think I also wanna do some polka dots maybe on his hat with some white paint. I think that that would look kind of cute. I could maybe do some on his hat and his gloves. 
I don't think I want to attempt to do the pants just because there's very little real estate on the pants. So I think for sure I want to put some polka dots on the hat and then I may do some on the gloves as well. But yeah, that's how he's looking right now. I'm also going to try to maybe fix that and also that up there just so it's a little cleaner. I don't know, maybe I won't be able to fix that, but... We'll, we'll see. I'll try. So yeah. So I think after I add the polka dots, I will probably be pretty much done with him and he'll be ready to go to my mom's. And then to do the polka dots, I think I'm going to use a Q-tip like this. That way I can just dip it in the white paint and then just kind of like dot polka dots on like that. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. He doesn't need to be perfect. The important thing is that I made him with love. So my mom will probably be happy either way. So yeah, let's go ahead and get to finishing up this little gnome guy. And then I can share with you the other things that I got for my mom for Mother's Day. guys that is the end of the arts and crafts portion of this video so this is the finished product this is what he ended up looking like in the end i think he came out pretty cute he's not perfect by any means but i am pretty happy with him i think my mom's really gonna like him and yeah i was afraid at first that he was looking a little too much like santa claus with the red and the beard but i think that the blue and the polka dots helped him look a little less santa like in hindsight i probably could have gone with another color other than black for the shoes <laughs> to kind of help make it not look like Santa, but I started with the shoes. So we were pretty much set with the black from the get-go. But in any case, I think he's still cute. And then like I mentioned a little bit earlier, I did get some other things as well for my mom for Mother's Day. So we can go ahead and talk about those as well. And they're nothing really big. I'm pretty sure I got them both from like the 135 section in Target. <laughs> they were just things that I saw in that area when I went in one day and was looking around and they just reminded me of my mom. So I picked them up so that I can give them to her. And the first one that I saw was this wine glass that says Cool Moms Club. My mom does like to drink wine out of wine glasses like this. So I thought this would be a cute one to give her for Mother's Day. And then the other thing that I got her is this little yellow, Yellowstone? Why did I say yella? I don't always talk like a Texan, but I guess sometimes it just slips out, like when I say the word yeah. yella instead of yellow. Anyways, this is a Yellowstone <laughs> journal that has a quote from one of the characters on the front. It just says, I have a plan for everything. And that is pretty much my mother. She's a planner. She likes to write things down. She uses notebooks a lot. And she really likes to show Yellowstone. So this just stood out to me when I saw it in Target and I had to get this for her as well. So yeah, those are the three things that I got my mom for Mother's Day. And I still need to go get a card and a bag because I haven't done that yet. So now let's talk about the reading for this week because it didn't go as smoothly as I wanted it to. I initially really wanted to start Yours Truly while I did this painting, but just like part of your world, it had a whole time of about 26 days. So I couldn't get that one in time to listen to it for this video. I don't know why I thought yours truly would be available when part of your world also had a 26 day wait. I don't know what in my mind made me think that the second book would be any different or less popular. <laughs> I had pretty much resigned myself to thinking like, I'm going to listen to yours truly while I do this painting. And that did not happen. So what I ended up doing is I started listening to a bit more of The Silent Wife by Karen Slaughter. And I don't know if that book's gonna work for me. I think I might have to DNF it. Even though I really, really enjoyed the book Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter, I just feel like this series, the Will Trent series, is similar in the ways that I didn't like Pretty Girls, if that makes any sense. I've mentioned on this channel before that even though I love mysteries, thrillers, things like that, that often involve gruesome deaths, I'm a baby when it comes to details about body gore. And that's kind of why I don't read a ton of horror is because the body gore just grosses me out. And Pretty Girls did have a lot of gore in it, but the story was so intriguing and so interesting that I didn't really think about the gore that much. Whereas 
because The Silent Wife is much more of a slow story to me at least. Pretty Girls really hit the ground running and it was wild for 20 hours straight. But The Silent Wife really feels more like an old school procedural cop thriller. And it's just a bit too slow paced to balance out all of the gore that's in it. So it's not that the story is bad. I'm not disinterested in the story. There are just so many scenes with descriptive gore in them that it makes me not want to listen to the book. Like I've tried to listen to it while I'm driving early in the morning and then they describe in detail a tracheotomy and that's not what I want to hear at six o'clock in the morning. Like it makes my stomach feel queasy. I don't like it. So I don't think that Karen Slaughter's books are actually going to work for me outside of Pretty Girls, which is a bummer because I really liked that book and I really liked how she told that story and I had such high hopes for this book as well but I think it's just too much gore for me. It just makes me feel queasy inside and I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish this book or not. I do want to try because I don't like DNFing books especially books that have like a decent plot line and I'm actually interested in the story but I don't know if I can get past the gore and I know that's me being like a little baby and stuff but it just I don't know if it's like empathy or what but whenever I read descriptions of body gore, it makes that part of my body feel weird. So like when they were describing the tracheotomy, for example, it made my throat feel weird and I don't like that feeling. So I think that's, it's like a visceral response to me when I read things about gore. So yeah, I don't know if I'm actually gonna finish that book, but that's what I listened to <laughs> while I was painting. And it's also a pretty long book too. I think in total, it's around like 15 to 16 hours and I'm only about four hours in. So it's very, very slow going as well. And yeah, so I may end up DNFing that book, but I really don't want to. In hindsight, I probably should have just picked up an Agatha Christie book. They're always available. So yeah, a bit of a disappointing uh, update on the reading front this week, but at least I got stuff done for my mom for Mother's Day. So it's not a total loss, but I do feel like I'm in the beginnings of a reading rut. So I really want to try to get out of that before I'm too deep into it. So I think I'm going to find a little Agatha Christie mystery to dive into today while I'm driving to my parents' house. Today is actually Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to any mothers that are watching this right now. So that is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go throw this into my editing software and edit it together so that I can go spend the rest of the day with my mom. I know this video is a little different than normal, but I really needed to get my Mother's Day present sorted out and I thought it would be a good opportunity to do some reading. Unfortunately, the reading was less successful than the painting was, but at least I still got a present out of it for my mom. So I'm counting it as a win even so. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little different than usual, even though I did go in intending on pretty much doing a reading vlog with some painting this week. Sometimes things don't go the way you planned, but if you did enjoy it, go ahead and leave a like down below. Let me know. You should also subscribe while you're down there because I put out new videos every single weekend. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!